Hey guys, so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to relubricate the fans on your graphics card, which could be giving you trouble if they're uh, just not spinning properly, if they're wobbling, or if they're making grinding noises within your case. Now this methodology I'm gonna show you can also be applied to a regular case fan, but it's less likely that you're gonna to wanna to do this for a case fan because these are a lot easier to find and replace, and ultimately you're gonna have a more reliable fan if you just replace it. Um, on the other hand, graphics card fans can sometimes be a, a little specialized in their design, um, and therefore it's hard to come across them on the market. Um, so for example, on this ASUS R9 290, you can see here that it uses two different fan designs for this one card. Um, so in order to replace these fans, you'd actually need to go on somewhere like eBay and you'd be paying upwards of $20 individually for each fan. So in this case, repairing the fans on this card would be a better solution than um, straight up replacing them. Um, and I've done just that with this R9 290. You can see here the fan spins pretty good. Um, so now in order to do this repair, there's a couple of tools you're gonna need. So what I have here is an X-Acto knife, um, another pocket knife here, which I may or may not need, um, a roll of a high quality tape. So right here is just some uh, hockey tape, a screwdriver to take apart the fans from the shroud here, and some uh, machine oil. What I've selected here is just some uh, basic multi-purpose 3-in-1 oil. Now some fans do have a service hole that you can access from the back. So in the case of this Apivia fan, if we peel back this sticker, it'll reveal a rubber stopper, which we can easily remove, and we have access to the fan. So repairing a fan like this is pretty straightforward, you just need to refill the oil. So I'll give you an example of how the fan spins right now. Here that it's kind of rough, um, it's not keeping a spin. So if we peel back this sticker and put in some oil, we'll be back up to speed in no time. If you uh, get some oil on the back of your fan, just take some paper towel and wipe it up. Make sure it's wiped up good so the sticker um, can be replaced and it'll stick properly. So get that real good. So in the process of lubricating this fan, I got some oil on the sticker here and the adhesive is shot. So now I'm basically going to use some of the hockey tape that I have to create a new sticker. And that fan is good as new. If we want, we can remove some of this tape here to make it look a little bit nicer and to help prevent it from peeling later. So that's really all there is to it. This fan is fully functioning again. Now for this graphics card fan, um, things are gonna be a little bit more challenging. So you'll see here that if I take out um, one of these fans from the shroud, so you can see here this one's not doing so good, this one's not doing so good, this one's doing very well. So we'll take out one of these ones that are uh, doing rather poorly. Undo these screws. Unplug the fan from the shroud. Peel back the sticker. And aha, there's no service hole on the back of this fan. So, this is where the X Acto knife comes in, and we're going to actually create our own service hole. Now I've heard some people say um, to use, for example, something like a, like a hand drill and uh, just very slowly going in with a drill bit. But I think this method is a little bit more precise. You're less likely to get plastic shavings um, within the interior of your fan. So basically what you want to do is set the fan to, a, or set the knife to a relatively short length, like so. And then put it right at the center of the fan. Oh. 
put it right at the center of the fan and hold it at about a 45 degree angle and then just spin the top of the fan and you'll notice the plastic will start to shave off, kind of like pencil shavings. You want to continue until you expose the interior of the fan, which you'll be able to tell when you get there due to a shiny metal piece sticking out. So if I keep going here, keep going, you can see that the plastic is starting to shave off. You can increase your angle if you want the hole to be a little bit bigger. Now what's nice about this method is you can see that all the plastic that I'm shaving off is generally coming off in one big piece and none of it is going inside of the fan. Now, if I show you the inside of this fan a little bit, you, can, you should be able to see now that the uh, metal part of the fan is exposed here. So that's now where we're going to apply the oil. We don't need the X-Acto knife anymore. Take some of our oil, put it in the service hole that we just created, and start to work that oil into the fan. What you want to do is kind of just pull the back part of the fan off and just let it spin. Let it just drain into there. You can already see that there's a pretty big difference here. Alright, so it looks like it's spinning a lot more freely now. So now what I'll do is just soak up some of this excess oil with my paper towel. Make sure to rub it off real good so that when I apply the tape, um, the tape's going to stick. Get that real good. Make sure that it's still spinning nicely. Yeah. Totally is. Take our tape, cut another little piece off, stick it on, and then once again we're going to cut off the excess tape so that this doesn't peel off prematurely. There we go. There's one side. There we go. There's another side. And yeah, now we can see here that we basically replaced the sticker on this fan. And it should be spinning a lot more freely now. Oh, it's kind of hard to tell here, but let's plug it back into the shroud and see how it goes. And I won't have my fingers in the way of blocking it. So pop this back in. back through, blow it in, oh, looks like it's rubbing up against 
something here. And there we go. Look at that. These two fans are perfect. And this one's bad. So I guess now all I need to do is replace this fan and I'll be good to go. So that about wraps things up. I hope this helps you guys keep your old graphics cards in service for many years to come. And I'll keep the video rolling as I relubricate the last fan on this Gigabyte Shroud. Thanks for watching.